Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my essential items for spring. So I'm going to be covering like the tiniest bit of fashion, not too much, uh, but more so hair care and skin care. And today's video is a collaboration with two people I think you're going to know pretty well. The first one is Joel aka Gallet, and the second being Anthony DeLuca. So you can check out their videos here I think I'm going to put it. If you're after uh, spring fashion inspiration then definitely check out their channels and if you aren't already subscribe to myself and subscribe to these guys too. So let's start off with that tiny bit of fashion I was talking about. If you guys saw my new look lookbook, not easy to get out, then you would have seen this Harrington jacket. Now I'm personally moving away from the thicker, more quilted bomber jackets that I was wearing in winter and moving on to the lighter Harrington jackets because they have a little bit of a more formal twist as well. The light Harrington jacket is perfect for spring because I don't know about you guys but here in London it's boiling hot one minute then literally snowing the next. It's that really awkward transitional weather and global warming. It's that really awkward transitional weather so this jacket is perfect so if you just want to wear this jacket with a t-shirt or if you want to lay it up with like a jumper or a hoodie for when the weather is a little bit colder. This jacket in particular because of the colour and the kind of material it's made out of is a bit more suited to more formal occasions so um, I'd wear this with a shirt or even like a t-shirt and nice trousers but you get these in like a blue, a khaki, um, and even a white which are perfect for just everyday casual outfits. Now let's move on to hair. My hair is jet black so when the weather gets a lot hotter, um, I don't know why but I feel like my hair kind of absorbs all the heat and then my product seems to just like completely melt out of my hair and then my hair's just ruined by the end of the day. So one thing I love when the weather gets a little bit warmer in spring is the Tresemme Salon Finish Freeze Hold Hairspray. Now I don't use this because of the freeze hold, I use this because of the 24 hour climate and humidity control and resistance. So once I've styled my hair, I just give this a very light spray over and my hair will stay in place throughout the whole day. The humidity resistance is perfect for when it's really, really hot out there. Then the freeze hold is great for when the wind is battling against me on the colder days. Yeah, you can buy this super cheap you can get from pharmacies. Um, I think I got this one for like three quid, so it's really, really affordable, but one of the better hairsprays I've used ever. The change of weather can actually really, really irritate your scalp, and for me personally, in winter, I get a really, really dry scalp, and it can get a little bit flaky, especially with the constant washing and drying with the hair dryer that I'm doing. It can really, really irritate my scalp. So something I've been using recently is the System Professional by Weller Balance Mask, and this is an intense scalp nourishment mask. This is a weekly treatment that deeply nourishes the scalp, relieving any kind of irritation, and of course, it's gonna make your hair feel super soft, um, and really natural, like you've never had any product in it ever. I personally hate using anti-dandruff shampoos, so something like this, which is just a once a week kind of job, um, is great, and I'll use this on days where I shampoo and condition my hair. I personally like to run this through my hair with a comb, and then I'll leave it in for about 30 minutes, and then rinse it out, but whilst I'm rinsing, I give my head a good massage as well, and make sure it's covered all the areas on my head. But yeah, this is a little bit pricey, but for once a week, this is gonna last you a really, really long time, so it's definitely worth that investment. Spring for me is all about spring cleaning. Not my room, oh, I haven't got time for that. <laughs> but I like to redo my wardrobe and I especially like to redo my skincare routine. You guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, I'm obsessed with skincare. And one of the most important parts of any skincare routine is the moisturizer. In winter, I like to use thick moisturizers to prevent my skin from getting dry and chapped, but that's not really what we need when it comes to summer. And if you have oily skin like me, you don't want to be putting heavy moisturizers on your skin. So one of my personal favorites is a gel moisturizer. This one in particular is is Nature Republic's Aloe Vera. It's 92% Aloe Vera. As well as being really moisturizing, it's water-based as well, so it's great for like oily to combination skin. And it really helps to lock in that moisture without leaving a really horrible, like oily shine on your face. But when the weather starts to get a little bit warmer, this is also gonna make a really good after sun. And aloe vera is known for its healing properties and soothing properties. So if you have acne prone skin or kind of very, very sore acne, this is gonna be great for help soothing any kind of irritation and pain. So as well as swapping out your moisturizer, it's time to get a new fragrance. My winter fragrances are kind of very like, I suppose you could call them thick and musky and that kind of typical manly smell. But when it comes to spring, I prefer something a little bit cleaner, a little bit fresher, something that I can spray on and uh, something I don't feel is like gonna suffocate me. Now when it comes to picking a fragrance, I personally like to choose um, fragrances with a kind of marine 
smell to them. That basically means like a watery smell. This is because it kind of reminds us of freshness and coolness. And I'm not really a fan of citrus notes in fragrances, but they are very, very springy. And I've managed to find two that do have these citrus notes in, but they're not overpowering and, um, you know, I don't smell like an orange walking around. These are two fragrances by Zara. Um, I mentioned in one of my videos, the budget fragrance one, that I actually love getting fragrances from high street stores. They have some really unique fragrances and they're really, really um, affordable as well. So this one is Seoul and this one is San Francisco and um, they're kind of inspired by cities across the world. Like I said, they both had that marine kind of scent to them and very citrus notes as well. Find that Seoul is kind of like an everyday fragrance, like I'll wear that out shopping, I can wear this to work. San Francisco is a little bit more of an event kind of fragrance, if that makes sense. I'll wear this in the evening, I'll wear it to dinner or I'll wear it to a party, something like that. But together, these came in a pack for $12.99, which I think is so, so cheap and because they are so so affordable, I don't mind just splashing these on. Um, if I run out of these in a month, I'm happy to go out and just buy another two. One of you guys actually commented about this next product. Um, one of you guys asked what lip balm I use, and I was like, why do you want to know that? And then I realized it's actually really important and a really good question. I use lip balm, there's a fly. Oh. I use lip balm on the hour every single day. My lips can get very, very chapped, um, especially in winter. So in winter, I've been using the Hydrocare Nivea SPF. Um, it has an SPF of 15, but with the warmer weather coming up, as well as SPF all over our face, which we know we should use, and on our body, we need to take care of our lips as well. So I'm using the Sun Protect. This has SPF 30, and it's also waterproof. You sh little sh I do find that this has a little bit of a white cast. When you put it on, it does make your lips look pale. So I'll put a little bit of this on, and then this on over the top, and I'll just kind of like reapply this every couple of hours, or as I need it, really. So they are my spring essential items. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these before or what your essential items are as well. I love discovering new products, so, you know, recommend me stuff. I want to try some stuff out. And for more spring essentials, remember to check out Joel and Anthony's channel as well. Subscribe to me, subscribe to them, and let them know that I sent you. But that's it for now, guys. I'll see you next time.